Nana reception and welcome to Wednesday's phonics lesson. We're going to start off with our quick write of the graphemes. From face to right at the beginning, we should all be able to form these letters. So, quick write of grapheme that makes a sound. Three seconds, one, two, three. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. Ah. Show me. Ah. Well done. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. T -t. Show me. T Excellent. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. that you're blowing a candle out. Excellent. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. Eh. Eh. Well done. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. Mmm. Mmm. Oh no. Well done. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. Mmm. I'm rubbing my tummy to say that I'm very hungry. Mm. Show me. Perfect. Quick write the graphene that makes sound. G, 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 g. Like the water going down the plug hole. G. Well done. Quick write the graphene that makes sound. Oh. That's my action for on and off. Switching the light on, off, off. Super. Quick write the graphene that makes a sound. But I want the curly kiss first. Show me your curly kiss first. Well done. Now show me your straight back. Nice straight back shoelace. Far letter down, shoelace and a flick. Perfect. Last one, quick write the graphene that makes the sound F. Then that you're breaking your the shell on your egg. F. Perfect. Well done. Going to move on to our digraph today. This is a digraph that has two letters that make two sounds. Two sounds. Ooh ooh. Ooh ooh. Makes a sharp vowel o uh, and a long vowel u. Uh. Can we all say it? It makes a sharp vowel o uh, and a long vowel u. Uh. You should say that to help you remember that it has two sounds. Now this spelling can come at the beginning, middle or end. It's very rarely at the beginning. Or it does like ut or u. Uh. Not many words start with this spelling. It mostly comes at, in the middle and at the end. You can pause me if you wish while you think of some words that has the short vowel o uh, and the long vowel u uh, in. I'm going to share you with some with you, so read the words as I reveal them as quickly as you can. The That's the short vowel, oh, isn't it? Let's see the next word. Let's try the long vowel, oo, in this word. Hook, hook. Not a hook. Let's try the short vowel, oh, now. Hook, bells, hook. Well done. Last one for this part. I'll give you a clue. It is the short vowel, oh, again. All these words have a short vowel up. Sound it out. W, u, d, wood. So we've got book, hook, and wood. We'll to read some more words with the oo digraph now. But this time, once again, you should know how to do this now. As soon as I reveal the graphene, you make the sound to guess what the picture is going to be. Are you ready? Right. 
And I'll tell you, it's a long vowel U in this section. A long vowel U. Shout it out at me once you've sounded it out. See if you get the right word. Wow, well done. I'm going to do it myself now. Well done. The next one, say the sound when I reveal each grapheme. Repeat it if you're unsure. Start from the B again if you are unsure. Sound it out. B, Excellent. Well done, everybody. So I will upload this sheet, and all I want you to do for the practice session is sound out the object on this side and find the matching word. You will circle the matching word. So our first picture, sound out nest. Get your segmented and blended hands. N -e -t, nest. And then you will circle nest. The next one is a gift. Sound out g. G e t g. Well done. Last one. This is a phone. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a phone, but on the phone, the person has text. Has put in a text. So it's text. Text. Sound it out. Text. Text. There will be a sheet with more on. I just wanted to demonstrate the three with you. Okay. So finally, our writing task. That's two clues there as usual. You can pause me if you wish to think of your own sentence and to work out these two words here. So we've got a u e. A u e. Asleep. And this is stool. Asleep and stool. And what is that? Is that a dog? Is that a hamster? Is that a rat? It's a cat. So our sentence is the cat fell asleep on the stool. Quite a long sentence, isn't it? Let's Count how, how many words. The cat fell asleep on the stool. Seven words. So let's get started. The cat fell asleep on the stool. The capital T. Cat. I have chosen two U because of the sharp vowel E and it comes at the end of a one syllable word. So if we hear the U at the end of a one syllable word like fell, bell, tell, well, we use two U. The cat fell asleep. A U E asleep on the stool. On the Let's sound out stool. Are you ready? One, two, three. Two, stool. Which two letters make the U sound? Off and off. All start at the end. The cat fell asleep on the stool. I think that's correct. 
You can reread it if you wish with your adult to check that it, it makes sense. Now you're going to move on to your final sentence. Your final sentence has the words wet and broom in. Say it, wet and broom. So let's see what our final sentence is going to be. He swept the road with a broom. He swept the road with a broom. Seven words using our oo sound today. Happy learning reception. I look forward to seeing all of your amazing work once more. Can't wait to see it at the end of the day. Bye bye reception.